Okay, so as an extra, to figure out how I got from this improper fraction to this mixed form, you have to divide this out. So we're going to do that down here. I've just taken the numerator here and put it here, the denominator here and put it here, and I'm going to rearrange this a little because this isn't quite the standard form that we like, so I'm going to rewrite this. I'm going to switch the positions through the commutative property of arithmetic, and I'm going to do the same here so that I have my largest exponents are first, and then I'm going to rearrange these terms as well due to the commutative property of multiplication so that I have uh, these terms as a coefficient of the x. And I'm going to divide this. The first step is to take the first term here and the first term here and to create a ratio. And then you reduce this fraction and we have... Oh, there's a square here. We have negative 2. And then we take this negative 2 and this becomes a part of our quotient. And we also take that negative 2 and we multiply it by this term that we're dividing by. And then we're going to subtract this from this. And this gets tricky because as you subtract this term from this, you essentially have a negative one that is distributing over this. So this is negative 2x squared plus 4. So as we add these together, this is 0. I don't have a constant here, so the constant is 0. So it's this plus 4. And we see the power here is 1. The power here is 2. So if we go to make a ratio of this, we are going to have something that is in proper form. The first term here, the first term here. This is in proper form. Uh, this was still the same degree on numerator and denominator, so this is improper form. So at this point, we can really stop because we're just going to run in circles because this is not going to reduce more. And so we are going to add this remainder as a numerator and this as the denominator to the quotient that we have here. And if we commute some of these terms again, we can algebraically move from this position to this position. These are equivalent solutions. And that's how we got from this fraction to this fraction through this long division process. So this is long division of polynomials.